I'm here at the Center for Immunization Research at Johns Hopkins, and today we're chatting with Dr. Talat. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to have you. So tell us about the mission of the Center for Immunization Research Mucosal Vaccine and Challenge Team, or MVAC. So our team studies vaccines for respiratory and intestinal organisms. So viruses such as flu and RSV that cause colds and, and pneumonias, and also bacteria that cause diarrhea. Oh, um, and so these are your mucosal membranes, your nose and your intestines, and so that's where our team name came from. Oh, that's interesting. So what is a mucosal vaccine? So it's vaccines that are administered through one of these mucosal routes. So either a nasal vaccine, an intranasal vaccine. The licensed example would be flu mist. Um, mm -hmm. The flu vaccine is a, is a licensed mucosal intranasal vaccine. Um, the other option is an oral vaccine that you take by mouth. And so um, there are many oral vaccines that are licensed for organisms such as typhoid or rotavirus is the one that every child now gets in the United States. Um, worldwide, there's a polio vaccine that's given orally. So vaccines that use the immune system that is in the mucosal membranes to protect you against getting these infections. And so you administer the vaccines the same way that you would get infected with these organisms, and that helps prevent them from causing disease. Oh, wow, that is so interesting. So tell us a little bit more about challenge studies and their role in vaccine creation. So challenge studies are a little bit different. Um, these are studies in which we actually give people the organism that causes the disease. So we either give them a cold virus or we give them the bacteria that causes traveler's diarrhea or um, bacterial diarrhea in, in, other, in other places. And they are really important because they help us evaluate the vaccines in the early stages of the vaccine to see whether or not the vaccine's going to work. So for example, if we have a vaccine against Shigella, which is an organism that causes diarrhea in many parts of the world, infects over 200 million people each year and um, kills um, a lot of them. If we have a vaccine against that, we can bring people here in our unit, give them the vaccine, and then a few weeks later, give them Shigella. And while they're in the unit, they're, they're safe. We're monitoring them. We treat them when they get sick. But it helps us evaluate whether or not that vaccine is going to work well. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for chatting today. This is fascinating. It's, thank you very much. It was a great pleasure.